Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. This is Jesse Simon taking you through A Level Mathematics 9701-42, May, June 2025. Question 1. A crate is being pushed in a straight line along a horizontal surface by a force of magnitude 25 newtons inclined at an angle of 20 degrees above the horizontal. The crate moves a distance of 12 meters in 8 seconds with constant speed. Find the constant speed of the crate. Now, the first thing we need to do is, of course, to identify, to do the diagram and then identify the forces that are acting on this particle. And this is one of the, uh, of the skills that you need to have when it comes to mechanics. Okay? Like I've already said. Now, we are having this force applied to this particle and it is at a certain angle 20 degrees so the force is coming like that and it is 25 newtons then of course since this one the block is on the flow or the crate is on the flow then it has gotten its weight acting downwards the mg and we also have the normal reaction Okay, now we need to resolve the forces. If you have been following me, we have already said that closing in is cosine and then opening up will be the sine. So this one here, when I close this one here, it will be now facing this way like this. Okay, so this one will give us, because this is hypotenuse and adjacent using Sokatoa, that will be cosine. So we shall have 25 then cosine of 20 degrees okay and then uh, we also have this one here when we try to open so it is going to be facing down okay so when it faces down this one is now going to give us 25 because that is opposite and hypotenuse so it is sine 25 sine of 20 degrees now uh, this block here let's say it is moving a distance here which is given as 12 meters okay 12 meters that's the distance between these two here okay now uh it does this in eight what? seconds now we should know that for constant speed for constant speed then acceleration is always what zero because remember you are going to say v minus u over t and the speed is the same so you get that zero all right then uh since acceleration is zero then we need to use this relationship between speed distance and time okay so here we need the speed speed is going to be equal to uh it is distance if I need speed, I'm going to cover here. So it will be distance over time, right? Okay. Distance. Then over the time that is taken. So what is the distance? Distance is 12 meters. Time is 8. This one will give us 1.5 seconds. As simple as that. Then part B, find the work done by the 25 Newton force. Now, you know that work done... Work done is equal to force times distance. So the force, uh, it is this one, it is not the 25. The force that is going to take this particle here is this horizontal component. So that is 25 cos of 20. You see that? Then times the distance. Which distance have we gotten? And the distance is 12. Now, when we multiply this, what do we get to three significant figures? 12, then times 25 cosine of 20. Make sure the, uh, your calculator is in the degree mode. So that one gives us 282, the three significant figures. 282 joules to three significant figures. That is that. Then part C, they're saying find the power at which 25 newton force is working now power is the rate of doing work okay so power is equal to 
work done work done divide by the time taken so we shall have uh, this 12 here multiplied by 25 cos of 20 which gave us the what the work done then we shall divide um, by the time taken which is 8 so the answer I've gotten I'm just going to divide it by 8 the answer here then we say divide by 8 that one will give us 35.2 35.2 watts those are three significant figures so that becomes our answer there